I spent a lot of summers in Maine. In fact, my sisters are here tonight, and um, Kathy spent time in Maine in Freeport, right? You were too little. You were like a figment of someone's imagination at the time. Okay. You were a glint in someone's eye. Anyway, um, Freeport was beautiful. Um, my grandparents, our grandparents, had a, uh, a working farm up there. It wasn't real big, but it had husses. Husses, horses, husses. It had husses and goats. Um, I think it might have had some sheep. Uh, it had a, Big field of corn, beans, and stuff. We had, um, I know it was fun playing in the, in the barn, a big old barn. We used to stack the hay up there and jump off the loft. My brother said one day, close your eyes into it, it's much more exciting. So I did, and something happened in my neck. I couldn't walk right for the next two weeks, and you know, I snapped the neck. So my uncle came out and he just lifted me up by my head. That's how they did it in those days. That was pre chiropractic stuff. <laughs> I worked it out a little bit. And I didn't die, so I, apparently it worked. But, you know, the, the times that we had up there was so so lovely, because it was a summer vacation for us. We grew up in Beverly, and we'd go up there for the summer with our parents. Uh, and we'd stay there. And uh, it got to be pretty wild. My brother was a pretty kind of a wild guy. I gave him my first cigarette. First and only cigarette I had. I was uh, about seven or six. <laughs> He'd been smoking for two or three years. He was eight. <laughs> And uh, I just, I couldn't stand it. Um, but he put it to better use later. He almost burned a bond down while he was smoking in there one day. Um, but the great state of Maine decided that uh, they had to put Route 1 through the farm. And they did. And they took the farm by eminent domain. So there was really no access to it. So they had to take it. And L.L. L. Bean was, was there then, because it is, well, it was, it was um, before um, Ralph Lorraine discovered it. Uh, it was just a wonderful place to be as a kid. So. And haying was a real interesting thing to do, too. If, you, if you've never hayed, there's actually a method to the madness. When they say, you got to make hay while the sun shines, it's for a reason. You can't bring white hay into the barn. Because if you do, it'll catch fire. I know, it's an oxymoron. But the hay itself generates heat, and it will spontaneously combust. This is a song about haying in Maine. It's called the Haying Song. When the raspberries burst from the woodbine, and the summer lies close to the ground, when the porch is the fit place for young boys to sleep, the brook in the holler dies down. There were straw hats and wagons and horses, horses, like the undimmed tired old Danny. We'd head for the fields to the creek of the wheels, with the pitchfork that blisters your hand. And you have to make hay when the sun shines, that's what all the hill people say. Cool of the evening, I perch on the lower 
But the wagon winds blow through my hair And come up the stars and talk to the moon Sing to myself in the street somewhere Hang on from the corners and duck from the branches Make sure it's dry and put it away And you have to make hay when the sun shines That's what all the hill people say you just keep your little wife with an eye on the sky. Make sure it's dry when you put it away. Hang on from the corners, duck from the branches. 